Okay, y'all, welcome back to Grace for Eats, where we like to talk, but we love to eat. Today, we are cooking southern smothered cabbage, y'all. Now, if this not the way your grandmama did it, that don't have nothing to do with me. Let's go. Okay, first, we're going to heat up our pot. We're going to coat it with some oil. We're going to put our Holy Trinity, you know, our onion, our bell peppers. We're going to cut up two lengths of smoked sausage. Now, personally, I use Mr. T because me and my fiance, we don't eat pork. So I use the Mr. T, but you can use whatever sausage you want. And we're just going to cut it up. It really doesn't matter how you cut it up, y'all. It all goes the same. You can cut it like that in a circle, so you can cut the circles in half. Whatever you want to do is totally up to you. It all goes down the same. Nah, but just don't cut it all trifling and stuff like that, y'all. Cut it up. Hope everyone is having a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. My channel is definitely growing, and I owe it all to y'all. If you need any other recipes, please let me know. And no negative comments, y'all. And we're just here cutting up our sausage. To go in there. I was trying to hurry up and cut this sausage, y'all. I have my Holy Trinity cooking and I didn't want it to overcook. And while you have that cooking in a pot, you can be cutting up your sausage. You're just going to cut cook your veggies until they're soft. And here we are. We're going to check on our veggies to see how they're doing. They're about ready. Now we're going to add our sausages to the pot. There we go. And we're going to brown those. Brown those so they get a nice color on them. Since I'm not putting smoked meat, but now you can add smoked turkey neck, pigtail, salt meat. I know a lot of Southerners, that's how they do it um, down here. But I don't eat pork, y'all. So this is my addition, okay? So here we're going to wash and cut our cabbage. I have two small cabbages because I was cooking this. I'm the only one that eat cabbage in the house, y'all, because my, my husband's not here. So... We're going to wash and cut our cabbage. And the big pieces, the hard pieces, excuse me, the hard pieces, we're going to take out those, okay? They don't taste too good or look too good. And they're going to cause the cabbage to take longer to cook. So we're just going to wash and wash. and Yeah, here we're just sorting out. Get the hard pieces out of there. I don't like those, y'all. See? Like those pieces like that, that's how they're going to, we, yeah, we're going to take that out. Now, personally, if you like to leave it in, I mean, good for you, but this is the way I cook mine. If your grandmother didn't show you how to cook it like that and your ancestors and stuff, okay, that's not my problem. Okay, but this how your cabbage should look. Now, personally, if you don't know how to cut like that or however you want to cut it, it's fine. Our sausages are ready. They are brown. They have a nice color on them. Now, after we check that, stir it down a little bit. Now we're going to add our cabbage. And we're going to brown our cabbage a little bit. Like I said, this is how I do mine. I feel like when you brown it like this, it adds a little more flavor to it. It's kind of like searing your cabbage. No, it's not meat, but it's how I like to do it. So we're going to add a little more oil, add a little more oil, and I add a little Tony Sasser. Okay, here we have our cabbage browning. We got the oil, we got the sausages, got the smoked sausages, the onion, the bell pepper. We have all our flavors coming together right here. Let that brown for a bit. Watch it so it's not sticking. But I also added like a teaspoon of butter. I added a teaspoon of butter to my oil and my cabbage and everything so the oil won't burn. Now I'm going to add a cup of water. Now you can 
add chicken broth. I know a lot of people add chicken broth, but that's not what I do, you know, because of my heart problems and things like that. I try to use less sodium as possible. So we're going to season it, okay? We're going to season our water now that we add it. We're going to add some tonies, some paprika, some garlic powder, some onion powder. And some cayenne. Don't forget your cayenne. Now, don't put too much of that, okay? You don't want to burn your throat off. Here we have all our flavors coming together after we add the water. And we have seasoned the water. Now, it's time to let it smother. Now, this is the smothering part. You're going to add your lid on it. Add your lid on it. Put it on a medium fire. You're going to let that smother down. We checking on it. See, we halfway through. We almost there. We almost there. Make sure you're watching your pot. Smother. You see how we got all those flavors coming together? It's not quite there yet. Now, if you want to stop here, and it's been about 15 minutes. If you want to stop here, and that's the consistency consistency that you like, that's fine. But this how it should look when the cabbage is getting smothered down, y'all. I'm about to show y'all the final this is how your smothered cabbage should look. See that? See how that cabbage cooked down to nothing? We have more meat than cabbage. That's smothered cabbage, y'all. Southern smothered cabbage. Now, if that's not the consistency you like, that's fine. But this is smothered cabbage. There is braised cabbage, steamed cabbage. But this right here, this is smothered cabbage. Now, you're going to let that cook for about 45 minutes. It took me about 45 minutes. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. If you have any more questions, you know you can contact me.